Hey everybody, I'm Emily from Mindfully Trading and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you a review and a demonstration of what I consider to be the best backtesting software for Forex traders, and that is Forex Tester 5. If you're not familiar with the concept of backtesting, it's where you can test a trading strategy in the market using past data without having to risk any real money. So you're not actually trading the live markets, you're just going back in time to test to see whether a strategy would have been profitable or not using the past data. There are a lot of different types of software and methods to use when it comes to backtesting, but I'm going to jump onto the charts with you and share with you why I think that Forex Tester 5 is the best backtesting software that you can use. <laughs> I share trading software reviews and products on my channel if I truly believe in the quality that they provide to us as traders. And I am super excited to share this software with you today because I genuinely believe that it is a fantastic piece of software that can really help to improve your performance as a trader. In fact, if I had access to this platform earlier in my trading journey, I really believe that it would have sped up my learning process and allowed me to get profitable and consistent a lot sooner than it actually has. That's how good I think that this platform is. And that's why I'm going to demonstrate it with you today. If you are looking for a trading platform that can help you to improve your skills and performance as a trader, but without using any money with zero risk, this platform will help in a few different ways. We're going to go over all the features with just a moment. So here we are on the website of Forex Tester 5 and this is where you can access and download the software. It downloads to your computer and then you can access it through your desktop. Forex Tester 5 does have a free version available and there are paid versions that allow you to access more data and more features. But the theory is the same that you download the software and you open it on your desktop. Once you open it up you get a nice little introduction option which I will skip for now and you can either access the free version or you can enter in your software key to unlock all the features if you have paid for the platform in full. So before we dive into a walkthrough of all the features that come with this platform and what you can really do with it, I'm just going to share with you an example of what you can firstly achieve with it and that is some backtesting that I did before on EURUSD. So this was backtesting my swing trading strategy using the four hourly time frame and on the left hand side here you can see statistics this shares with you the amount of trades that I did. So I took a total of 10 trades. Out of those, I had six winners and four losers. And towards the bottom here, you can see it says net profit. That's after the commission's estimate rate and the profit in percentages. So out of this 10 trade practice, I was up 8% on the account. And that's what makes this platform very exciting because if you've watched my past videos, I've done a few different videos on backtesting using the charting platform TradingView, which up till now has been my preferred method because I love the TradingView platform for technical analysis. However, something that Forex Tester 5 offers is the ability to actually physically take a trade using fake money. So it's kind of like a demo account and backtesting together in one. And it makes it really good because it really shows an accurate reflection of your backtesting data because you can take trades in real time, you can set a stop loss, you can set a take profit, you can scale in, scale out. It just gives you a really good idea of what you can achieve with a strategy and you can see the P&L for yourself. So for this strategy, I started with a $10,000 dollar account at the top here and then you can see the different trades I took as part of the strategy so I have bigger winners to my losers because I was using a positive profit loss ratio and then at the bottom here I'm up $10,827 in the account so you can see the overall profit and loss there and that's one of my favorite features of this account it makes back testing exciting and it really takes it to the next level so let's go through a few of these features and then I will open a new project with you and I'll do some live back testing and just show you how that trading panel works. So along the top panel here, we've got a few different tabs and we're going to start in home. And here is where you can access the bar replay part of the back testing. So if I click start here, you can see that the candles start moving and that's because that is releasing the data. So this is effectively releasing the data from this date here, the 28th of September back in 2018. And this is on the Farley timeframe. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new project. So this is effectively a new strategy for this demonstration with you today. Let's do it for pound yen. And I'm going to do the same for our swing strategy. You can change the amount that you want to use in your demo account. I'm going to leave that at $10,000. And you can actually choose any of the symbols that they have available here for your project. So they do have some stocks. You can see Apple at the top. They've got Amazon, Google, Lloyds. They've got Forex pairs here. I'm going to click on pound yen. They also have some indices. So we've got the German market there and gold and silver. And you can choose your testing period. So I'm going to leave the, the defaults, which is from 2018 and click next. And this is just generating the back testing data, the history there. I'm going to just change this to the London market and create. Now it's automatically going to start playing through. So let's pause that. And it has automatically put me on the one minute time frame. So next, you can see here under time frame, we have quite a lot of different charts available. So you can choose the options available there, or you can click on the settings cog and you can actually add whatever time frame you want. So if you want the 20 minute time frame, you can add that into the selection. So for now, I'm going to go into the four hour time frame. Now it's gone back to the beginning here. So let's re resume and release some bars to fill the chart up. This bar here says speed of testing. So you can actually make this a lot quicker if you want to release your bars quicker. If you want to trade in real time as the bars are being released, you can really slow it down to give yourself time to think, to plan your trade, to feel like you are actually trading in a live market environment, but without the risk that goes with that. So now we have some bars released. Let's just zoom out a little bit to get an overall flow of the market. I'm moving through our walkthrough of the panel here. Next, we have action orders, and this is how you can set your orders. In fact, you can set your orders in a few different ways. So you can click here if you want to open a market order, or if you want to open a pending order, so you may want to set a buy stop, a buy limit, or a sell limit, or a sell stop. That's where you can access this. And it opens up this little training panel here. Alternatively, you can right click on the chart as you would do with MetaTrader 4 or 5 and you can choose your options here for buy a limit or sell stop and so on. Next up, we have graphics. So here underneath this arrow, you can access a variety of drawing tools as you would do in the live markets or on different charting platforms such as TradingView. So there are different lines available. You can have trend lines, raise, horizontal lines and also rectangle tool channels if you want to apply those or different Fibonacci tools. And if you are a trader who likes to trade with indicators, there are also a range of different indicators available. Now for this demonstration, I'm not going to uh, trade my strategy exactly because I want to demonstrate some of the different tools that are available. So let's add on a trend-based tool. Let's add on a moving average. And you can choose your parameters here. So I'm going to add a 20 period moving average I'm going to change this to exponential because I prefer the EMA to the SMA and let's just make this a blue color. Again, just demonstrating the tools that come with this platform. And you can even choose if you want to apply it to certain timeframes only. So that will add on an EMA here. Now we've only got this much data released, so that's why it ends there. If you want to move to your crosshair, you can access that there. And then once again, if you want to zoom in and out of a chart, you can access that there as well. Moving on to the order tab, this is just where you can access more of options for your orders. So you can do that in a variety of ways. As I said, you can right click or you can access them from this order tab. If you want to go into more detail on the chart itself, you can right click on the chart to go to chart settings and you can really customize this. So if you prefer your chart a certain way, if you like a darker background, if you want to change the colors around, if you want to remove your grid, anything that you want to do to customize it can be done from this panel here or in the chart section here. You can also customize the layout of the platform. So at the moment, I have the default layout here where we have the chart and the main screen. On the left hand side, we have the statistics and at the bottom, we've got account history, any pending orders and any open orders. And I quite like it like that because that is very similar to how I have this set up in my live trading platform with MetaTrader 4. But if you do want to change it around, you can do that from this Windows panel. If you want to remove statistics or 
add it back you can do that here it's quite easy to move things around if you want to add certain features onto your layout and moving on through there are some more options and there's also a panel for education and that's another great feature of this platform if you are new to trading if you're new to forex this might be really useful for you because they actually have some basic courses and some intermediate courses available that you can start if you want to learn so you can basically Follow a course to learn about trading and you can practice trading risk-free in this platform. It provides pretty much everything you need to get started trading Forex. So moving back to our back testing now, we've added our 20 moving average and I'm going to take a couple of trades just to demonstrate how it works when it comes to trading. So as I said before, I can click resume and make this slower to release the bars or I prefer to use the space key which just releases one at a time. And I'm going to do that now just to establish a trend here. So we've moved below this moving average, we've come up and retested it and closed below. As I said, this isn't a strategy that I trade live, so don't take what I'm doing now and apply this to a live market environment, not without testing it for yourself first. Right, so as we've come up to the moving average, I'm going to open a sell order here. So let's set a short and I'm going to open it just below the current market price. So I'm going to open it as a sell stop. So I'm going to right click and choose sell stop. This will open the trading panel here. So you can see here we've got pound yen, sell stop. You can select a lot size or what I prefer to do is to tick this box that says calculate with risk percentage. So I'm going to risk 1% of the overall account. And you can manually enter the price or you can click on this eyedropper tool and actually select where you want your order to trigger. So at the moment we're at 15150. I'm going to set it just below here. Uh, let's make that 15148. And the same for a stop loss and take profit. So I'm going to click that eyedropper tool and let's just set this at 7, 8, 30 pips above. And for the take profit, let's just set this at 98. Make that 88 actually. So this is very simple, a sell stop using a two to one profit loss ratio. Let's place that order and zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to go into my pending orders tab at the bottom and you can see all the details that we've set here. So just releasing the bars now and that's activated my sell stop. So it's now an open position and it looks very similar to how you would see this in a live trading platform such as MetaTrader 4. You can see all the details for the pair, the type that we've done, we've done the sell, the lot size, the time the trade was taken, the open price, the stop loss take profit, the current market price, and it even has a column for swaps and commissions. So in this instance, that was a loss. So once again, we can move over to account history here and then you can access that trade. So that's one loss on the account. And that's how easy it is to use this platform for trading. So it really does emulate a live trading environment, but without the risk and adds that data over here into the statistics panel. So you can see that one trade I took, which resulted in a loss. And at the bottom here, we can see the net profit or loss and again in percentages at the bottom. All right, so let's just take a couple more trades just to demonstrate this further. All right, so I'm going to take a long here. Now we've broken through this moving average and we've made a wick rejection of that. Let's set this just above the market price here. And again, I can set my risk. I can set a stop loss. I'll set it just at the base of this candle here. And I can set a take profit. Let's just set that up here and place order. Again, it displays in the pending orders column here. And as price pushes up, it activates that buy stop and triggers me into the trade. So here it's come down and it's stopped out again. So let's try a few different orders now. Let's try a limit order. So I'm going to say if price comes back up to this area here that I want to sell. So let's place a sell limit. And again, I can place a stop just above this level. And for the take profit, I'm going to leave that blank for now.
and it looks like price isn't moving without me so let's trail these down so if you want to adjust them you can just hover over the line you can click and drag and it is a very clever platform it moves that stop loss with you and moves that order to wherever you want to place it So it's a good job I am back testing because as you can see over here, we've taken three trades and three of those have been losers. So that's why it's always good to practice in a back testing environment with zero risk. Okay, so let's use a few different tools now. So I'm going to go into the graphics and let's pull a trend line up here uh, from this point to this point here, just to highlight this short term uptrend. And again, I like to use one of the Fibonacci tools, the Fibonacci extension tool, to just measure the length of a previous swing and apply that to the current high to see if there is a place for an entry. So let's have a go in our order panel here at setting a market order. So this will set it at the current market price. Again, I'm going to use 1% of my account for the risk. I want to buy at market and then it just gives you the options here to also set your stop loss and take profit which are really important when it comes to trading and this handy tool even tells you on the right hand side there how many pips you're looking to use so let's use a 50 pip stop and let's use a 100 pip target and let's buy at market so i'm in straight away an open position here And there you can see if we go into account history, we have one here, I take profit that's been hit. And again, it updates here on the statistics panel, one profit and three losing trades. So there's an insight to you on how Forex Tester 5 works. As you can see, it's a very clever platform. It has a ton of great features and really allows you to practice your trading strategy in a zero risk environment using real market data. If you want to try Forex Tester 5 for yourself, I have included a link below in the description where you can go to their website, you can download it and have a go. As I said before, there are different packages available if you are looking for a free package with limited data or a paid one with a lot more features and a lot more data and also the support that goes with that. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already part of the channel. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.